Hello, my name is Andrew and I'm a master's student at University of Bonn. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to present our work, uh, Simple but Effective Redundant Photometry for Autonomous Vehicles. So the motivation for any type of the odometry is to estimate trajectory over time. It is crucial and challenging since it needs a high accuracy and robustness of the behavior, for example, for slant system. In this work, we address this problem of accuracy and robustness by proposing a flexible multi-algorithm system with sanity checks that explore Ackermann and dynamic constraints. So nowadays, autonomous vehicles are typically equipped with multiple sensors, such as cameras or lidars, since uh, different sensing modalities have individual strengths and weaknesses. So for example, encoders, uh, and in general, wheel odometry, suffers from the fact that the wheel may slip on the road, and therefore our, our odometry drifts away. On the other hand, if our system relies on cameras, we need rich texture and fixed illumination. Since if there is a, a dark area or we don't have any texture, it's hard to find key points and descriptors in order to find correspondences and build data association. Additionally, cameras uh, usually have small field of view, what basically restricts the maximum performance of the visual odometry. Another very common type of odometry bases on 3D scanners in so-called LiDAR odometry. Since the range measurements are very precise, this type of sensor provide, provides a good uh, geometric information. Typical approach is to use all mentioned odometries and fuse them into one algorithm. Nevertheless, the fusion suffers from the fact that there is prompt to one point failure. So what I'm saying here is that if there are dynamic objects, for example, our ICP algorithm may do a wrong association, causing divergence and drifts of our system. The same very similar thing may happen for cameras, where we have a dynamic object that distributes the descriptor, very similar, for example, or for example, we have the, the, the ob we have very similar pattern in the camera image, then, then our association may fail and basically our system also fails. Moreover, due to our design choices of the odometry algorithm, we are so sometimes based biased towards the type of environment and data set that we are dealing with. So for example, in the urban environment, in our algorithm, we may assume some planar surfaces or something like this, and that's fine. But if we move this algorithm to, to of this, or the system to the caves, then it may fail because as far as I know, there are no planes in caves. Thirdly, there are usually no odometry recovery behaviors of our system. In our approach, we propose a stack of odometry algorithms that run in parallel. And at each decision, decision time, our system chooses the most promising one uh, in terms of dynamic and kinematic constraints and based on a score function that I will be discussing later. So let's first visualize this approach. So we have a car with a trajectory and a local map. Uh, and then we run, for example, five different odometry algorithms that they propose some kind, some transformation, some odometry data. And then our system, based on sanity check and score, chooses the most promising one as a odometry, the right one. In our experiments, we use 3D LiDAR and one camera, where firstly we preprocess the data. So for example, we extra extract features, uh, SIF descriptor from uh, images and voxelize 3D scans. And basically we create something called pool of features, pool of readings, pool of measurements. And then we have stack of odometries that rely on those pools, pool of features uh, and, and measurements. And then those measurements, features can be reused for each type of odometry algorithm. So in our approach, we use five algor algorithms. So this is LiDAR odometry based on GICP, point to plane, NDT, color ICP, which basically is the ICP that uses geometric information, as well as uh, color information from the image that is projected to the uh, 3D point, and Huang's method that basically, uh, based on five point algorithm, uh, uh, estimates uh, five degrees of freedom, and then 1D ICP is towards uh, finding a scale information. 
Of course, our approach is very flexible. So this, this module can be extent uh, in terms of how much computational power we have. Then the proposal transformations are accepted or rejected based, based on a sanity check. Uh, so sanity checker basically remove outliers. So for example, if, if we have a di dynamic constraint, right? Uh, if our acceleration or, or dec deceleration was too high, then those proposal is rejected from the next stage. The same hap is happening for kinematics constraints where we have an Ackermann constraint. So basically our vehicle can't move left, right, sideways. And then those that they uh, pass the threshold, then they are accepted or rejected. And then those results then that went through sanity checker, uh, they are evaluated based on chamfer score. So chamfer score basically compares uh, two point clouds, the similar similarity of point clouds. So basically if we have a proposal T1 and one scan, we transform this scan by this proposal of transformation and we check whether this transformed point cloud how much it fits into the local point cloud the to local map and if it fits very well then the score is very low and then we choose this, this one as the most promising one or uh, odometry in the current time scale so we evaluate our approach based on kitty odometry data set 0, 0 to 10 and basically our odometry works better in 10 out of 11 cases in comparison to all individual methods with the same hyperparameters. Uh, and with rotational component, we are almost the best, but similar performance as one's method. Here I'm showing you our system that utilizes all odometries in different time instances. So for example, the GICP works better uh, but better in some situations, then we switch to GACP. If NDT works better, better there is environment that uh, allows NDT to have a better readout, to better fitness of, of, the, the, of the scan, then we choose the NDT. And at each decision time, we choose different uh, odometry. In addition, we conducted a, an ablation study uh, where basically we can see that if we add at least one redundant method, it gives simultaneously a better performance. So for example, we have a point plane ICP and we add in a parallel way NDT and basically we have a better results in comparison to all individual methods. And we can see that the more methods, the, our system works better and better. Even if we add color ICP, which has basically the worst method in within those five algorithms that we had, uh, it also gives a slight, slightly better performance in the system. Here I'm showing you the robustness, uh, robustness of our system. So on the blue one is the Huang's method that basically fades in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, that the, the, there are dynamic objects and for some reasons uh, our, our odometry fades because we are drifting away very much due to the dynamic object that, that is moving right here. Uh, but our system is capable to switch behavior, uh, for example, from Huang's method to GICP or point-to-plane and, uh, and have this kind of, w avoid this one point failure case. Uh, moreover, here I'm showing you a sanity checker. Uh, so for example, that rejects the outliers so on the blue one is with sanity check, on the red one is without sanity check. So we can see that those rejection outliers as a sanity check is important for a better performance. Uh, since, for example, here we had some jumps in terms of acceleration, right? So our velocity basically drops uh, significantly. And then our system, our sanity check checker is able to detect this. And then we remove this potential uh, minimum local minimum let's say it and then our uh, our system performs better uh, in summary i showed you a flexible framework for visual lidar odometry using 3d lidar scans on road vehicles or automo autonomous vehicles i showed you that redundancy is important and it improves the results of the system and provides uh, more resilient behavior 
our system is flexible, so other more methods can be added and changed. Uh, in addition, our system relies on chamfer score and sanity check that can be also flexible extended. Um, and the code is available on the website. And thank you for your attention.